Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another manga review. And today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different on the channel, because normally I review Hiro Mashima works, it's pretty much all Fairy Tale and Eden Zero. But I decided to change it up a little bit with Sakamoto Days Volume 1 from Yuto Suzuki. And you may be asking, you know, how the hell did you find this book, Kevin? Well, about a month ago I did that live stream, I forget what the hell I even titled it, but it was the live stream where we went through the Marvel and DC comic books, and we're talking about how bad they were. But at the end, we went through Viz and Kodansha's new releases, and I found this one, Sakamoto Days Volume 1, which came out in April, and I'm just getting it now in May. And I read the first chapter, really just skimmed through it on that live stream, and I'm like, wow, this is a pretty interesting premise. And <laughs> you can see on the cover right here, it follows the main character here, Taro Sakamoto, who is a retired hitman who now runs a convenience store of his wife and daughter, and, well, he's brought back into the other world, into being a hitman, I suppose. <laughs> so, you know, he's got he's to take a stand. And just the whole premise of it is, is, is very fun. There's a lot of comedic moments. It's very goofy. There's some action moments. And, you know, he almost reminds you of, of you know, what if Majin Buu <laughs> were a former hitman or something, just because of his shape and everything. You know, he's, he's retired hitman, so he's packed down a few pounds, eating a bunch of cup of noodles. And also because it's from Viz Media and Shonen Jump, which... Uh, a teen plus, this is 16 plus, which is interesting because in a lot of Shonen Jump titles, you know, the Shonen the namesake, the main protagonist is a teenage male, you know, that's in most cases. Look at the most recent ones. You have, you know, My Hero Academia, you have Fire Force, Eden Zero, um, look at the old series, you know, Naruto, One Piece, they're all young characters. Look at, look at Fairy Tale, Natsu, they're all teenage male protagonists. So in most cases, the Shonen Jump series revolve around them. Then you have like the Slice of Life series when you're with fan service. And I've never really seen a series where the main character is like this out of shape old dude who's like a former hitman. So I just thought that was an interesting premise. And uh, well, we'll get into this. So I gotta be uh, cautious about how to do this because Viz Media, unlike Kodansha, likes to strike these videos down for showing spoilers and stuff. Because I, I had reviewed the first three volumes of Pokemon Adventures. And I, actually, I think I reviewed the first four of them last year. And they were up for quite a while, and then all of a sudden I got a strike from Shukoku Khan. So, going to be a little cautious about doing this. But after just, just you know, reading this first volume here, the next one's coming out in June. I feel like this could make a, a great anime series. And I almost wonder if they took inspiration from Spy Family. I have to look up as to when Spy Family started in the manga form, because that's another good one from Shonen Jump where... You know, it doesn't really follow the typical teenage male protagonist. And, you know, it's, it's the family. It's really the spy and Lloyd and his his uh, telepathic daughter, Anya, and, and, and uh, Yor, which is interesting. But the, the, the funny thing about Sakamoto here, Taro, is he doesn't really say much. And this is like a flashback to him when he was, he was a, a spy in the underworld taking people out. And what happened is after he got married, here, here he's like ruthlessly killing people. Like he, he just walks by, chops the guy's head off and whatever. And, you know, he, he's doing all that. And he, and he meets this young lady at the store and he fell in love. He's looking at him. He's almost got a nosebleed. His, his glasses are cracking. Like, oh, I can't kill people anymore. I'm going to fall in love. And, you know, he gets married, has, has a daughter. And there he is now. <laughs> so we meet this other character on the cover here named Shin. And... He, he's been hired to basically either bring Sakamoto back to the underworld or to kill him. And Sakamoto, being a you know re retired hitman, is still <laughs> quite skilled. So he has like this burglar here, and he doesn't kill him, but he stabs him. I don't know how this doesn't kill him, but he stabs him in the neck to like silence him. And it's like, what the fuck, man? And um, Shin has the ability. That's why I sort of asked the comparison about Spy Family. Because he has, he's a clairvoyant, and he can read Sakamoto's thoughts. That's why, you know, he doesn't say much throughout the whole series whatsoever. He's just thinking things. That's how you can tell the word bubble. And by watching all this, you know, Shin's like, I can't really disrupt this guy's life because he's, he's very peaceful now. And he's using his knowledge from being a hitman to protect the neighborhood. Like, all these thugs are coming in, and he's, he's protecting everything. And because of his wife, he has the new rule where it's the no-kill rule. <laughs> So he's going around keeping the keeping the peace. And there's these funny moments too where Shin is just like getting into his thoughts and like, what are you thinking that for? And I like how this artist, I looked up the, the artist here, uh, Yudo Suzuki, which this is his first real work. Everything else has been short stories. 
hasn't really had a long running series. But I like the artistic design where all the like the good characters are drawn so innocently, like even Shin there, he's obviously a good guy. But here's like the villainous character, and they have like such anger and like the wrinkles and the lines in their faces. Just you can tell like who's a good guy and who's a bad guy right away. So they're here to attack, and <laughs> you know, with his with his hitman abilities, he he's this guy's firing a bullet at him, and he spits out a fucking cough drop to. <laughs> to block the bullet <laughs> and it's just some crazy stuff there, there's also a scene later on when um you know he loses a bunch of weight because because of, of like working with shin here but then he eats one cup of noodle and <laughs> is, is back to normal so like i said here like you see like the faces here how like plain and innocent looking and this is as a villain and just look at his face how menacing he looks so like i said with viz i don't i don't really want to show too much just because of how things operate here but, you know, there's Sakamoto just going in there, saving the day, because they're going to kill Shin for failing to execute his plan. Because this guy's like, you know, kill Sakamoto, or else we'll kill you as well. And Shin's like, I can't do it. The guy's just an all-around great guy taking care of the neighborhood. So, what happens, because Shin's now been excommunicated from, from these hitmen, Sakamoto says, well, you can work for me now, boy. <laughs> So, but he doesn't say anything. He, he hardly speaks. He has a few words here and there. He just thinks. Like even here, he's not saying anything. He's, he's scratching his back right there. And how did you know where? Like he's not even saying anything. <laughs> so, again, here's here's him thinking. Eight hundred yen an hour, or, or eight fifty without overtime. <laughs> so there, there's shit. He's like, how the fuck did I get roped into working at this convenience store? And some cute moments, you know, just some great stuff. There's uh, the wife, Aoi, I think they said her name was, and the, the daughter, and, you know. Oh, yeah, here, here's this clay clairvoyance at work. The old lady's looking for, oh, dear, can't find the detergent. Ma'am, the detergent's right here. Goodness, I didn't have to ask. What a young, nice young man you are. So, here they are, <laughs> and the wife's like, no, don't go back to killing, honey. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not killing him. See, he's not talking or anything. He's just shaking his head. <laughs> just the way that, like, the, you know, the, the mannerisms and whatnot. And this is him thinking again. He's not actually killing uh, Shin here by stabbing him, but he, but <laughs> Shin's like, why are you imagining killing me? He's like, oh, <laughs> I have to let some steam off every once in a while. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then they come across this young lady, which this kind of gives me vibes from Shenmue. Let's see if we can find her name. Oh, this is this is AOA again. But but there's this other young lady on the um on the bus. And we learn that she is a um Oh, this is flashback from, from Sakamoto and his wife. But we learn that, that there's this this woman from China who, who has like this uh we're in Japan, obviously, but this woman from China has like this jewel to find her family's treasure, and it kind of reminded me of Shenmu for a bit. And you know. Shin's like, oh, we got to cover our faces so we don't get caught. <laughs> and there's this little boy with this mask. And he's like, oh, I see that mask. <laughs> he grabs the mask. <laughs> and then the, they've like, these guys have hijacked this bus. So they got this guy all chained up so he's on, on the gas. And he's like, Mr. Sakamoto, there's no way we can stop the bus. Oh, there's no problem. I'll be the traffic stop. <laughs> and he has like this stop sign. And he fucking stops the thing. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Look at him go in there with the mask on. <laughs> oh, I loved it. So that was that was some good stuff. And then he gets his ice cream and he's just celebrating. Some good stuff. Oh yeah, and then they run to the officer and it's like, oh, you, do you guys have any idea what just happened just now? Can you help me find some evidence? So, you know, get some fun hijinks on their way, battling all these guys. And some good stuff. So here, I was getting ahead of myself. Here, here's here's the young lady I was referring to before, Lu Zhu Tang, and that's where I got like the Shenmue vibes. Having recently just watched that anime series, and he has all these different ways to, to stop things without actually killing people. Like this guy's trying to stab him, and he, he has tongs. Aha! <laughs> and he breaks the knife, and he's all concerned here. He's, he's, he has these pork buns that he just bought, and he's like, oh, we, we better not ruin these pork buns. I'm very hungry. <laughs> So, you know, what, what happens, again, with the characters' faces, like how these guys all just look so menacing with the scars and everything, whereas these guys, like this young lady's blushing, and um, they just look more innocent, and Sakamoto beating the shit out of them all. So then he actually takes uh, Zhu, Zhu Tang to work for him as well. And... 
<laughs> there was like a garbage can that's on the head. I don't know. I mean, it, like I said, I, I can't really go through it. Like I do my fairy tale reveals in great detail because I'm not sure how Viz handles like doing these types of videos. So I highly recommend it. We then meet this guy, Naguma, who's also trying to kill Sakamoto. There's a billion yen on your head. We're going to get you. <laughs> and then it ends with them going on a trip to the amusement park. <laughs> and they're just having a, a grand old time. And with the cliffhanger with, with the other assassins showing up. And this guy's pretending to be a janitor to take down Sakamoto. And he gra <laughs> again, he grabs the pen out of his pocket and stabs. <laughs> Stabs him in the chest, <laughs> but again, they, they specify, oh, he stabs him in, in so-and-so artery, so he's not really dead, and it's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> he, he's gonna, like, he's not gonna bleed out, you sure about that? So, and then this spiky-haired dude makes his way onto the uh, roller coaster as well, and <laughs> he's, he's trying to take down Sakamoto, and then what happens is Shin jumps out as they're doing like the alley-oop, like the upside down roller coaster portion. He jumps out and times it just right to land right behind him. And they start battling each other here and says, today's Mr. Sakamoto's day off. I'm working overtime to cover for him. Oh, is that some kind of appeal to be continued? So let's see what happens there. There's over 70 chapters of this now. This is only seven chapters. So there's over 70 chapters. This is the first one to get English uh, release in, in terms of the, because you can read it all online, but the first physical copy uh, for English release and volume two is going to come out in June. So I'll definitely pick up volume two. I highly recommend this. I don't really read a lot of, of Viz stuff. So it's interesting seeing some of this stuff in the, in the back here, because mostly I'm into like fairy tale, Eden Zero, stuff like that. I guess Spy Fam, I've been reading that. That's Viz as well. But it's cool to see some of these advertisements. Like I, I heard Chainsaw Man, I guess that's pretty good. That's getting an anime. Food Wars, Death Note, that's a classic. JoJo's, Jujutsu Kaisen. I think that's another of the more popular Shonen series. Undead Unlock. One of my subscribers said this one's pretty good as well. Let's see. Tired of inadvertently killing people with her special ability, Unlock. Fuko Izumi sets out to end it all, but when she meets Andy, a man who longs for death but can't die, she finds reason to live, and he finds someone capable of giving him the death he's been longing for. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Promised Neverland. I heard the anime for this sucks. The manga is good and it's complete, but the, the anime sucks. So this was very much a, a fun series to read. I just love like the the fun <laughs> hijinks. Like this guy, all he cares about is eating. That's why I sort of compared to like Majin Buu. And I think it's an interesting take because how I mentioned earlier in the series, most Shonen Jump series, like I said, it follows the teenage male protagonist. And then other series, you know, for their draw, they'll have like the fan service. That'll draw people in to read it. Or you also have like the, the Macho Men series, like, you know, Fist of the North Star, uh, JoJo's, Dragon Ball, like, you know, Macho fights and stuff like that. So it's an interesting take for this to be a Shonen Jump series where the main character is just like a beast man. But it definitely makes up for it with, with all the crazy an antics and action scenes and, and <laughs> just the humor in, in that, he, you know, the guy doesn't say anything. He just thinks it all. And <laughs> it's just all about eating. <laughs> so I liked it. I definitely recommend it. And I look forward to reading volume two. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.